In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to mount the extension tubes and the domes and flat ports on the Panasonic uh, BGH-1 housing. Um, the housing and the extension tubes have a locking mechanism for the bayonet. There is a flange pattern on the housing bayonet and a flange pattern on the extension tubes and the ports. These need, these need to be aligned correctly and rotated in place in order to lock. To unlock the ports in, inside the housing and the extension tubes, uh, there is a locking, unlocking mechanism inside uh, and it requires you to push down or pull down on the me mechanism to release the, uh, the lock and allow you to rotate the, the flange and the bayonet and unlock it from the, from the housing. So in order to mount the extension tube, you simply align the, the extension tube with the housing. There is a dot on the extension tube that you align with the dot on the housing. The best way to do this is simply to allow the extension tube or the port to sit inside the, the bayonet and rotate it until it moves down in place. Now, right now it's not locked, but it's aligned. The flanges, the flange patterns are aligned and you simply push down until it is fully inside the housing and rotate according to the direction of the arrow on the side. So by pushing and rotating, you hear the, the lock engage and there's a clicking sound. Now the port is completely locked and it cannot rotate in place. It does have a little bit of play, so you want to align the, uh, the ports so that they're essentially center to the, um, to the housing. It's not very cri uh, critical for the actual uh, extension tubes because they do, they do not have a, a, a shade or anything. They're just there to increase the length of the, the port so that the lens can fit inside the housing. However, when you're dealing with something like a, a dome that has a shade, you want to align this square to the housing. So let's demonstrate how we can install the, the this uh, six and a half inch port. As you can see on the port itself, we have a key position that has to be aligned with the housing. So we simply align those two. and push the uh, dome into place and rotate. Until it locks. All 
I should mention that every time you install a port or an extension tube, you want to uh, lubricate the O-ring and run your finger over it to make sure there's no debris or dust and that uh, the O-ring is going to seal properly.